The demon of lust is everywhere. Lust is a desire, a craving, or longing for what is forbidden. Technology has made it very easy to access lustful content 24-7. It can be very hard as a Christian to maintain a standard of purity. Jesus explained in Matthew 5 verse 27 to 28, You have heard that it was said, You shall not commit adultery. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. In Galatians 5 verse 19 to 21, Paul gives a list of the works of the flesh that will keep us out of heaven. He said, The acts of the flesh are obvious, sexual immorality, impurity and debauchery, idolatry and witchcraft, hatred, discord, jealousy, fits of rage, selfish ambition, dissensions, factions, and envy, drunkenness, orgy, and the like. I warn you, as I did before, that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God. As Christians, we must remove lustful feelings from our lives. Paul warns Timothy in 2 Timothy 2 verse 22 to flee the evil desire of youth and pursue righteousness, faith, love, and peace, along with those who call on the Lord out of a pure heart. The main source of your desire for lust is from your own body. However, Satan will use a variety of tactics to try to get you to sin. John tells us in 1 John 2 verse 15 through 16, Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life comes not from the Father, but from the world. Lust of the flesh are those things that start as normal desire of your body and then get out of hand. Satan tries to place you in situations where those desires pull you to violating God's law. James 1 verse 13 through 15 says, When tempted, no one should say, God is tempting me. For God cannot be tempted by evil, nor does he tempt anyone. But each person is tempted when they are dragged away by their own evil desire and enticed. Then after desire is conceived, it gives birth to sin. And sin, when it's fully grown, gives birth to death. Everyone has desires of the body. Everyone enjoys beautiful things. Everyone likes admiration. But Satan uses those desires to lead us into sin. Satan will place each of you in situations where the desirable thing to do to be violated some portion of God's law. 1 Corinthians 10 verse 13 tells us, No temptation has overtaken you except that is common to mankind. And God is faithful. He will not let you be tempted beyond what you can bear. But when you are tempted, He will also provide a way out so that you can endure it. Just because God has promised you a way out of every temptation, it will be much easier to give in to certain temptations. Too many men confuse the lust for sex for a sign of love. God does not want you to be a prisoner of lust. The Bible says, Christ has set us free. Galatians 5 verse 1 says, It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourself be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. We have assurance from our Lord that He will help us to battle lust. Romans 8 verse 31 to 32 tells us, What then shall we say in response to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also, along with him, graciously give us all things? Tonight we are going to pray for God to help us to battle the demon of lust. Let us pray. My Father in heaven, I come boldly before your throne of grace and mercy to find help and strength in my time of need. Lord, your word says in Matthew 26 verse 41, to watch and pray so that we will not enter into temptation. For we know that the spirit is willing, but Father, I know that my flesh is weak. Lord, your word says in James 4 verse 7, that if we submit ourselves unto you and resist the devil, he will flee from us. Lord, I fully submit to you. I resist this lust. I need you, Father. I am weak, but you are made strong in my weakness. So by my faith, I overcome in you, being unable to overcome this lust myself. I give the burden to you by faith. 
so that I am able to withstand the devil and his many temptations. By my faith, my strength and hope that is in you. Therefore, Lord, I confess that I am strong in you and in the power of your might. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I cast down every wicked, lustful, lascivious, and unclean thoughts of the enemy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. In your strength, I refuse and will refuse to allow any thoughts of the enemy to enter in. I cast them from me in the name of Jesus. I completely repent and turn from all lust. Father, I pray that you will cause me to think upon those things which are pure, honest, and of a good report. And I pray that you will not allow my mind to wander into idleness and lust, but that it stays upon the name and the person of Jesus Christ. Father, I thank you for revealing the evil lustful spirits attempting to drive me to lust. I thank you and believe you will not allow me to be drawn away by the lust of the eyes, the lust of the flesh, and the pride of life. I thank you for not allowing me to be overcome with lust in my eyes, for I know the eyes are the door to the heart. And your word says to guard my heart with all diligence. Father, please help me to guard my heart by the words that I speak and strengthen me to guard my thoughts and eyes. Father, I pray that you place upon me the whole armor of God so that I will always be able to stand against the devices of the enemy. I pray and thank you that you lead and deliver me from every temptation of lust, sins, and evil desires. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I take authority over Satan every principality, every evil spirit, and every spirit of wickedness in high places. I cut every ungodly soul tie associated with all evil memory we call concerning lust. I bind all spirits involved in the name of Jesus Christ and render them without power to operate in my life. I cut all lusts and all triggers off my mind, my will, and emotions. And I surrender lust and its desire from out of my heart to you, Lord Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I bind and cast off every spirit of lust, adultery, fornication, lasciviousness, and uncleanness in my life. Father, I surrender my body to you as a living sacrifice, and I recognize that my body is the temple of the Almighty Living God and the dwelling place for His Holy Spirit. And I rejoice that the blood of Jesus Christ sanctifies, cleanses, and covers me. Satan, in the name of my Lord Jesus Christ, every stronghold you have attempted to bring against me is rendered powerless and void by the authority of Jesus Christ. I put off all forms of lust and put on my new nature in spirit of holiness, righteousness, and purity. I strip lust of all power over my flesh and carnal mind. Jesus has defeated you, Satan, and I take dominion over you. You are under my feet, and your power of lust and sin is broken in my life. I abide in Jesus. I have dominion and have received victory. Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer and delivering me from the power of the enemy. I thank you for your word, that it is established in my heart, my thoughts, and my life. I thank you for giving me power over the enemy. I thank you for strengthening me so that my body is not defiled by lust, because it is your temple. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, for cleansing me and for overcoming for me. I praise you from my heart and give you all the glory and sing hallelujah to the name Jesus. I have victory in you and through you. I believe and I receive the victory. Heavenly Father, I thank you for the blessings that have come down to me from my ancestors and my father's line and my mother's line. But I also acknowledge as a result of their sinful beliefs and practices, they have also sinned against you in many ways. Today I choose to forgive my ancestors for the consequences of their sexual sins that have affected me. Please break the yoke and power of this generational curse of sexual sins off me. Please forgive me too for my own sexual sins. I know I am enslaved to these sins and that I am powerless to deliver myself. I acknowledge that you can help me and that Jesus had already paid the debt for my sin. All I need to do is claim it personally. For Jesus had took all my sins, past, present, and future when he died for me on the cross. I accept the gift of grace offered to me through Jesus' sacrificial death. I thank you that you know everything about me. Help me to be completely truthful with you. I do not need to hide anymore. If I confess my sins, you are faithful and just and will forgive my sins and purify me from all unrighteousness. So Father, right now, I choose to repent and renounce my sins of sexual lust, 
fornication, adultery, mental sexual fantasies and pleasures, pornography, masturbation, lasciviousness, sexual promiscuity, sensuality, prostitution, homosexuality, lesbianism, degrading passions. Father, you sent Jesus to rescue me from this body of death. I don't have to be a prisoner to sin. This battle that rages over my body originates in my mind, making me a slave to the sin that is still at work within me. Right now, I surrender my mind to you. Please cleanse my mind on the conscious, subconscious, and unconscious levels. Jesus, please be the Lord over my mind, my thoughts, my patterns, and attitude. You have searched me, and you know me. You know when I sit and when I rise. You perceive my thoughts from afar. You discern my going out and my lying down. You are familiar with all my ways. Come and dwell in me, Lord, by your Holy Spirit, and set me free to live in your resurrection life. Please break the control of manipulation of sexual thoughts and images over my mind, my body, and sexuality. Please forgive me and set me free from all consequences of my sins. Please cleanse me from all defilement of spirit, mind, will, emotions, and body. Cleanse my eyes, my ears, my hands, and sexual organs also. In Jesus' name, Father, lift off me all sexual spirit of lust. The reason Jesus appeared was to destroy the devil's work. Lord, I have been a willing party to the devil's work. Thank you that you appear on this earth to die and be raised again to destroy his work. Please destroy the works the devil has accomplished in me and through me. Set me apart for your work from now on. According to your word, no one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in him. Please help me to understand and admit that I cannot simply go on and on indefinitely in my sins and claim to belong to you. I acknowledge to you that my body was not meant for sexual immorality, but for you, Lord. You were meant to take authority over this body and bring it to sanctification and meaning. I know that my body is a member of Christ himself. I shall not take the members of Christ and unite them in ungodly sexual relationships, whether real or virtual. I renounce the use of my body as an instrument of unrighteousness, and by doing so, ask you to break the sexual stronghold that the devil has brought into my life. Please help me to exercise godly control over my sexual urges. I have simply misused my body. Please cleanse it for your use. I present my body to you as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to you, and I choose to reserve the sexual use of my body only with my spouse. In Jesus' name, I renounce the lie of the devil that my body is not clean. Father, I thank you that you have totally cleansed me unconditionally. Jesus, be the Lord over my body and my bodily appetites, my sexuality and sexual expressions. Therefore, I cannot accept myself and I choose to accept myself and my body as cleansed in Jesus' name. I know that my body is a temple of the Holy Spirit who is in me, whom I have received from you. I am not my own. I was bought at a price. Therefore, please help me to honor you with my body. Since I have been raised with Christ, help me to set my heart on things above, where Christ is seated at your right hand not on earthly things. Please take my passions and redirect them first towards you. Be the chief focus of all my passions and create a new heart within me. Father, I come boldly before your throne of grace and mercy to find help and strength in my time of need. Lord, your word says to watch and pray so that we will not enter into temptation. For we know that the spirit is willing, but Father, my flesh is weak. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me, for cleansing me, and for forgiving me for my weaknesses. I praise you. I give you all the glory and say hallelujah to the name of Jesus. Father, I thank you for hearing my prayer and delivering me from the tricks of the enemy. I thank you for your word on how it is established in my heart and in my life. I thank you for giving me power over the enemy. I thank you for strengthening me so that I will not defile my body and that it will be a temple of the Holy Spirit. Thank you, Lord, for restoring me. To God be all the glory. In the name of Jesus. Amen.